like most women, I thought of food as simply a way to control my weight. I never thought about it, how it might affect brain health. We didn't talk about nutrition. In four years of psychiatry residency training, we didn't talk about food once, not even when we were talking about eating disorders. And so it was really remarkable, that blind spot. So uh, what I did was I just kind of dove into the science, all the primary literature, the, the scientific articles, and started reading widely uh, across a variety of disciplines, uh, botany, anthropology, uh, psychiatry, toxicology, animal husbandry, really everything I could get my hands on. Try to, you know, I came across, for example, a paper in 1965 that had been uh, published about 10 women who had been uh, with schizophrenia, who were, had been in the hospital setting, uh, placed on a ketogenic diet for a brief period of time. And um, the clinicians there did notice that their schizophrenia symptoms improved. And I came across uh, information in the literature about how bipolar and epilepsy, bipolar disorder and epilepsy are so similar. We use the same, many of the same medications are used to stabilize seizure uh, activity. Those very same medicines are in many cases used to stabilize mood in people with bipolar disorder. And so there, it turns out that there are actually many, many similarities between bipolar disorder and epilepsy. And I thought, well, we've known for well now over 100 years now that, uh, that ketogenic diets stabilize, uh, have the ability to essentially stop seizures in their tracks for many, many people. Uh, and that's powerful uh, evidence that, that this is a brain stabilizing diet, this diet that stabilizes brain chemistry. And if that's the case, shouldn't it also be the case, or could it potentially also be the case, that would stabilize brain chemistry for people with mood swings? And the more experience you get, the more, uh, the more you see the power of, of these diets. I mean, when you use these in clinical practice, there's nothing else that works as well as the ketogenic diet. And not just better in most cases than medications alone or even than medications at all. But but uh, with many, many fewer side effects, whatever side effects you're going to see are usually very temporary, short-lived, just a few weeks often, and tremendous number of what I like to call side benefits, metabolic health, and overall physical health improve. 